Not long ago, I contacted a girl on social media. When I saw her online, she looked like everything I usually like. We had chemistry from the very beginning. Yeah, she had all the things he usually likes, like a big, thick personality. So thick you could probably bounce a quarter off of it. Buddy, we know exactly what you mean, and I just gotta wonder, are there just no singles in your area? Like, no homo, but you're not even a terrible looking dude. Maybe you should go get some liquid courage, maybe hit a few clubs. You don't have to get into anything serious tonight, but there are women you could be talking to, I'm sure. What's crack a lagging everybody, it's your boy Thundros, and I hope your day is going fantastic, cause uh, as usual, mine is going uh, pretty Gucci. And for once, the guy being catfished isn't some 74 year old person that just doesn't understand the internet, cause God knows Philly Cheesesteaks got those in spades. I don't know how down bad this guy is, but apparently he flew on a plane to go see this girl, and uh, he did not get the desired results. Before I continue roasting though, hit the like button, or Dr. Phil will show up at your door and try to force you to his ranch. And don't get me wrong, I would love to pet his beautiful mustache, but I would would never want to spend a week at whatever he has going on there. It'd be like Diet Juvenile Hall, except you're surrounded by child psychopaths and less trained guards. But kick back, relax, and let's get to making fun of a, another scam on Dr. Phil. Seriously, Mr. McGraw, you deal with this with alarming regularity. We talked to each other for about two weeks before we got a chance to see each other in person. I booked her $400 round trip to come see me in Miami. You know, there are some really, truly brave and adventurous people out there. I mean, messaging each other for two weeks on social media, I, I wouldn't even feel comfortable giving out my phone number. But this guy really decided, you know what, I, I think it's been long enough that I can buy a plane ticket and go out and see her. I'm not gonna say he isn't a man of action. He knows what he wants and he's going for it. I just won't be surprised when the story ends with him short a kidney. Like, this is exactly exactly how a horror story begins. Once I saw her, I could just kind of tell that it just wasn't the same. I gave her a hug, I embraced her, I just realized like, man, I've been duped. Why did you even hug her if she wasn't the person you thought she was? Like, look, you may have lied to me, but uh, bring it in, girl. I mean, we knew he was thirsty when he got on a plane after only two weeks of talking. Like, the second you found out they weren't the person they said they were, you should have ran like Sonic the Hedgehog. It's a real miracle that you still have your organs. Like, you hear all those stories about children getting kidnapped over candy? This is the guy that probably would have fallen for it. She looks so different. The way your Instagram looks and the way you look in real life is not the same thing. The funny thing is, the pictures were probably all of her and unedited. Women are just masters when it comes to lighting. Like they say the camera adds 20 pounds, but somehow women can turn that thing into liposuction. I wish I could master the tricks they exploit, because I would probably get a lot more on Tinder. She definitely wasn't the girl that I expected. I just told her, you don't look like your Instagram. I recorded what happened, it went viral. I mean, congratulations, but why was your next step to go on Dr. Phil? Like, bro, you could have ran a story time, but instead you're given a bald mustache with a fake doctor at the clout. Like, bro, did you think this was gonna make you bigger? Because uh, you're not the next bad baby. And we don't want or even need another one. When you look in real life, it's not the same thing. It's not even a debate. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not the same thing at all. Am I the only one still wondering what the girl looks like or, or what photos she sent him? He was probably expecting a girl as hot as Florence Pugue, but instead he got something that a high Nina wouldn't eat. It doesn't mean I still don't want to see her. Show us the pics, bro. I never said the girl was ugly. I just told her that I was deceived. You're really building this up like you were totally bamboozled, though. Like, it sucks being lied to, but you're acting like you were offered a T-bone steak and instead given a salad. And just to be clear, I'm not saying he should trust her. In fact, he should delete her from his phone. Nobody should be this big of a simp. But if every person that's been catfished drag it to Dr. Phil just to be like, oh my god, I was lied to, Dr. Phil would probably be stuck in this one niche. You're not ugly. You don't look like you're grand. You don't. The fact that you started recording tells me you were looking for fame. Like, bro, you could have just walked away with the L, but instead, no, you whipped out the phone. And posting it on social media, you knew what kind of reaction you were going to get. You might as well have just thrown it on TikTok. And I'm completely on board with exposing catfishers, but could you at least show her face, bro? You'd at least be doing us a public service. I definitely feel like she catfished me. Social media is toxic and it causes a lot of comparison. I mean, yeah, social media is toxic, but what does that have to do with this? You flew out to see a catfish, bro. That is not social media's fault. I feel like this is winding up to him being like, well, you see, uh, I saw my friend on Facebook and he had a hot girl, and well, this hot girl seemed like she was into me, and it's just, uh, I wanted to be on his level. Buddy, you cannot live your life worrying about women's opinions. Those things change like the seasons in the Midwest. Seriously, yesterday it was like 70 degrees, and today I'm getting snow. And somehow it's still less chaotic than the last three girls I've seen. <laughs> definitely hard for men as far as it comes to like Photoshop. We don't really see 
the little blemishes or whatever might be there. It's hard for men on the internet? Let me tell you about a social experiment I did in college a few years ago. I made a Tinder profile and I used pictures of a girl out of the country. Made sure she was like conventionally attractive but not like supermodel. Let me tell you, I could only do this for an hour. If I had a dime for every, um, want some pick I got, I could probably blackmail half the population of California. And I'll say yes, men do have a bit of a difficult time, but let me tell you, it, it definitely beats what the women are dealing with. Now, like when I get on FaceTime with a woman, so I'm let me get a little spin so I can see what's going on. A woman's value isn't just how she looks, but our society is putting a pressure on them to use filters. Bro, you got clowned, brought your issues to national television, and now you're trying to lecture us on the dangers of the internet and how women are pressured. And I'm not saying they don't have their fair share of problems, believe me. But stop trying to treat this like it's some kind of grand lesson. We don't need this lecture from you. You got catfished. It happens. You learned a lesson, but you don't need to push it on the entire world. Majority of us already know, bro. If you don't have the right mental strength, it could be a detriment to you. I wish that women would use the platform to be more honest. Wow, he really went from ally to women to, oh, I just wish women weren't dishonest on the internet. Because you know, men are just 100% honest on every platform. I've never heard of a man out there doing a single dishonest thing on the internet. We're somewhere between negative one and 100% trustworthy. I was going to say zero to 100%, but I really felt like zero needed to be in that margin. Well, joining us virtually is Sunny. Uh, Sunny, I think it may be good that you're virtual. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> but, Sonny, you, your point is you, you were deceived gonna be honest here, I'm not entirely sure what point he's trying to make. He's all over the road here. Like, first he's coming in here like, I was deceived, tricked, bamboozled. Then he was trying to talk about how hard it is for men on the internet, followed by trying to sympathize with women about how much pressure they have on the internet, and ended by blaming them for the dishonesty on the web. It really feels like he's trying to say something smart or really trying to not sound like an incel, and he's just failing on both accounts. What happened to the... the conversation and chemistry and all when she showed up um i mean those factors kind of diminished when i saw that she didn't look like the woman i was pursuing online I'm still flabbergasted that you actually thought she was gonna look the way she looked on the internet. I doubt you've ever talked to a model in real life, but this dude probably thought this girl on the internet that lives super far away, she she wants me. There's not a single hot guy in Miami she could be dating. She wants me. I get losing interest when she wasn't the person you thought she was, but what were you actually expecting? Seriously, just be happy you survived the trip. You should have known better. You should have FaceTimed her. You should have FaceTimed her and made sure to see the real her. Did you FaceTime with her? Yeah, I FaceTimed her, but I'm not type of guy that's gonna get on FaceTime and I'm not really gonna be asking girls to show me their body and stuff like that. I don't know exactly what he was trying to say because his feed kind of cut out, but uh, he FaceTimed this chick and still managed to get played like a flute. I'm sorry, but it's hard to be sympathetic. Maybe he shouldn't be so thirsty. You know women exist in places other than the internet, right? Maybe get off Instagram and try talking to some of those. But I'm gonna start wrapping the video up. Unfortunately, there isn't a lot to make fun of here. They just kind of go into the social science of how, you know, there's just so much media out there. I just thought it'd be fun to take a quick break and come back to some Dr. Phil. Maybe I'll do an episode of Catfish after this. I mean, I really love seeing Nev. Anyways, drop me a like if you enjoyed the video, but uh, try not to do anything too stupid. Please keep yourself safe. And until next time, this is Thundro signing off.